this is going to be the kitchen. So we're going to have shelf out here, and uh, we're going to keep it very uh, natural, open kitchen, like the traditional South Indian kitchen we are planning for. Miles away from the hustle and bustle of city life, Delhi resident Lakshmi is building a home tucked away in the low-lying mountains of Rishikesh. Close to the ghats of the Ganga, this is not just any ordinary house in the mountainous state of Uttarakhand, but an effort towards conscious sustainability. Basically, the idea is of uh, uh, making my in-laws feel more comfortable with respect to all the uh, unfortunate illnesses that you encounter in uh, places like NCR, etc. So, you know, diabetes and pressure, etc. So, we wanted to bring them to a place which was more uh, peaceful and more connected to the nature. Not just closer to nature, Lakshmi's house has a considerably lower carbon footprint and energy needs. And this is primarily because its walls are made from agrocrete a brick made using agricultural residue and industrial waste. So I met some people, they connected me to uh, the uh, eco-friendly bricks and I heard about it, understood about it, so that they are using, uh, you know how NCR is affected by the burning of uh, the uh, hay and you know, stubble. the other stubble. So when he told us that he uses that for making the brick, so there was a direct connect with, uh, you know, that thought process and uh, we believed in him. Look around us and everything seems to be made of brick and concrete. Over the next 15 years, estimatedly, 40% of India will be living in the urban environment, which means more buildings and more buildings will need more bricks. Tarun Jami, founder of Green Jams, a company promoting sustainable construction, is one of the few frontlining the way we build our homes. Having already worked with vegetal concrete, in 2020 Tarun engineered Agrocrete, a carbon negative block made from paddy straw residue and industrial byproducts. So, while it is as strong as your conventional uh, burnt clay brick, it's also significantly lighter. Now, I wouldn't be able to lift 10 of these regular sized bricks the way that I'm actually able to lift this because of which and the natural grip holes that are available in the cavities becomes easy for the mason to lift, place and uh, adjust according to his needs. So uh, similarly as a 9 inch, um, again 10 wouldn't be able to do it but uh, easily able to carry this one and in fact it's really strong. Priced between 26 to 55 rupees each, the way these blocks have been sized is relevant. A single block could be equivalent to 8 or 10 regular sized red clay bricks, making it a cheaper option. Working in masonry for the last 8 years, Sevaram has spent the last 2 years building Lakshmi's house. This is his second experience working with Agrocrete and he welcomes the change. इससे तो बहुत दिक्कत कम हो गई है कि एक तो ब्लॉक काफी बड़ा है तो इससे आराम मिलती है कि जल्दी चिनाई भी हो जाती है मसाला भी इससे कम लगता है अच्छा जी हां जो है अब जो एक मिनट लगती ये आठ ही तो वजन जगह घेरता है जो एक एक ही घेरता है उसमें आठ बार में धड़नी पड़ती ये एक ही बार में रख दिया In the developing South Asian countries of Bangladesh, Pakistan and India, brick making is big business. Close to 300 billion bricks come out of kins every year, causing severe impact on health and environment. Uh, if I just talk about the cement industry, it's responsible for about 8% of the global carbon emissions that take place. A clay sort of needs to be fired at about 1000 degrees centigrade to create good bricks, which is a high temperature. And of course, if you have such high temperatures, you usually need a lot of fuel. And most of that fuel is, of course, coal based. So, uh, in fact, India is the second largest producer of bricks. We produce about 200 to 260 billion bricks every year. 
and in in terms of industry it's the third largest consumer of coal so you can imagine how much of emissions are taking place because of it a 5 hour drive from rishikesh and we enter the delhi ncr region one still struggling with the effects of stubble burning as farmers in and around the national capital region desperately clear fields in time for the next sowing season Gulriz Ali lives in Meerut a bustling city less than 100 kilometers from Delhi and part of the national capital region While his ancestors were traditionally paddy farmers Gulriz was compelled to switch to growing wheat and sugarcane the incessant need to burn paddy stubble had taken a toll on their health and finances humne chhod diya ise 10 12 saal se chhod diya tha 30 saal se karte the usme nuksan hone laga phir chhod diya humne sab public bane karne lagi isliye chhod diya tha nuksan hota hai khansi khurra hota hai bachcho ko pardoshan hota hai isliye band kar diya For the last few months however he has found a way to go back to the crop his family had always been associated with The green jams intervention has helped him find a way out of burning stubble and instead earn some money from it Today Gulrez sells about 200 to 300 quintals at 2 and a half to 4 rupees per kg Ite ki wo aise hamare ye hai bande inke sath koi partner mile ये लाए स्कीम को तो ईटे बनाएंगे इससे पराली गल जाएगी परेशान नहीं होगा कोई दिक्कत नहीं होगी किसी को जलाने नहीं पड़ने की फिर इसलिए कर According to reports in 2021 25 to 48% of Delhi's toxic air in the peak season was attributable to stubble burning Since their operations, Green Jams has prevented close to 1,200 tons of stubble from being burnt, which roughly translates to sequestering more than 1,000 tons of CO2. With the farmers, I mean, so far we've been, I think, able to impact over uh, 80 or so farmers, uh, or more. Um, so here, the way that it works is uh, the partners that we develop. So, for example, Mr. Mansoor Khan, who is a partner here in uh, Meerut, it is his responsibility to uh, essentially. for the crop residues and because he himself is also a farmer and is you know well entwined with the community um he is essentially able to the uh, impact uh, get access to the crop residues and then bring it to the manufacturing uh, facility by following a franchise model of business these green bricks are being manufactured locally thereby cutting down emissions from transportation and logistics The local unit in Meerut for instance is being overseen by Mansoor Khan while the second decentralized unit is in Vishakhapatnam Wo log bolte hain wo acharya karte hain ki ek purali se eet kaise ban sakta hai logon ne yahan ke dekha aur log jaanch padtal kari bole haan ye acha purali se eet banaya hai hamare gaon mein hamare zile mein ye nayi technique aayi hai is technique se jo eet bana rahe hain log bade khush hain bole ab aage jo makan banayenge तो हम लोग भी ये ईट लगाएंगे आपका रीचिंग आउट डायरेक्टली टू फार्मर्स इन द एरिया मंसूर इज इन चार्ज ऑफ इंश्योरिंग अ स्टेडी सप्लाई ऑफ स्टबल द कलेक्शन देन एंड्स अप एट द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्लांट इन मीरट अपार्ट फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रिसिटी फ्रॉम द पब्लिक पावर ग्रिड द कंपनी क्लेम्स टू यूज नो अदर फ्यूल ऑफ एनर्जी टू कन्वर्ट पैडी स्ट्रॉ इनटू एट लीस्ट 2000 कंस्ट्रक्शन ब्लॉक्स पर डे So we procure the crop residues. They come bundled, loose. They come in multiple formats depending on how it is harvested. We pile them up here, and you can see this uh, tiny hillock of uh, paddy straw here. And uh, after that happens, the once we receive it here, the next thing that we do is we uh, using a thresher machine. Uh, it's regular farm equipment. This has been used since centuries. um so we use that and we resize them we chop them up into uh, smaller particles once chopped and soaked the stubble is combined with binder a patented mixer made from agricultural residue and byproducts of steel manufacturing like non toxic slag 
The embodied carbon in this mixer is said to be five to eight times lesser than that of lime and cement. This is our pan mixer. Into this go our uh, the crop residues and the fly ash and the most important component without which agro cake cannot be made which is binder. So those are uh, the bags of binder. We manufacture it in Wizag in our own manufacturing unit. According to Tarun, it is the alkali activated material in this mixer that lends the blocks a denser microstructure. Absorbing lesser water than clay bricks, it is this factor, along with the hollowness of blocks, that are set to make them more durable and work as a real alternative to cement bricks. Half an hour after mixing, the agrocrete is molded into lengths ranging from 4 to 9 inches. These are then left to sun dry for a week. The finished product is said to be as strong as traditional clay brick and completely carbon negative. So when the crop is growing, it is absorbing CO2 from the atmosphere and it is basically embodying it. But if you leave it to decompose or burn, the CO2 goes back into the atmosphere. It's essentially the carbon cycle put in a nutshell. Now we stop it there. We take the crop residues, we mix it with our mineral binders, so now it is chemically bonded within the concrete and that is how we're actually able to cut the carbon cycle and put that CO2 into this mix. And because it is chemically bonded, it does not ever go back out into the atmosphere. With over 60,000 blocks being produced till date, Green Jams claims to have helped capture about 130 tons of CO2. One of its biggest clients happens to be ITC Limited, an FMCG major with presence across hotel, software and packaging industries. It doesn't just solve two problems, it solves multiple problems. One, your waste gets reduced. Uh, two, stubble burning, as you said, gets reduced. Third, perhaps the fact that you're not going for virgin material which have to be extracted or mined from earth, which is a good thing. And fourth, perhaps also the fact that it can trap carbon and put it into my buildings, which gives me a way to sequester my carbon into my buildings, which is a wonderful idea that can be moved forward with. Uh, at the same time, there are other technologies which are using similar ideas. There are plywood alternatives which are now also using uh, waste, agricultural waste as well. So several of these technologies can work. In theory, all of these technologies work very well, but it, they have to stand the test of time. You need more demonstrations to happen. You need, of course, more laboratory-based uh, tests to happen for somebody to really say whether these technologies are working or not. Meanwhile, Lakshmi waits eagerly for her new home that should be ready by this year end. It's about going how technology and nature can come together and how we can be responsible in our own ways. So I took the responsibility with the brick and other things that we are going to use in this place so that it is going to be uh, more sustainable. And of course, give the opportunity for my family to be more close to the nature. So that's the whole idea about it. Thanks for watching Eco India. If you like the story, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to scroll.in on YouTube.